Alrighty, now we're at the last part of our story. Now we told our reader who, where our story takes place. We told our reader who our characters are, who the characters in our story are. And now we actually need to tell them the story. So our story is going to have three parts, the beginning, the middle, and the end. So what's going to happen in your story? What happens in the beginning of your story? What happens in the middle of your story? And what happens at the end of your story? Now don't forget to include your characters. I'm going to share the story that I wrote. So in the beginning of my story, Georgina, remember Georgina is one of my characters. Georgina, the gingerbread girl, is sad because she doesn't have Christmas decorations. So that's how my story starts. Poor Georgina is super sad because her house doesn't have any decorations. Then in the middle, Max, the gingerbread boy, surprises Georgina by decorating her house. So this was the beginning of my story, the middle of my story. Look at nice Max, the neighbor. He decorated her house. And in the end, Georgina says, thank you, and celebrates with Max. I probably should have put Max in the picture. Uh-oh. But you see, this is my story. In my story, Georgina's sad because she doesn't have any decorations. And then Max surprises her by decorating her house. And then Georgina is happy and she celebrates with Max. The end. So those are the three parts of my story. Now I do want you to remind you that we start our sentence with a capital letter and we end with punctuation. Start your sentence with a capital letter and with punctuation. Start your sentence with a capital letter and with punctuation. So how many sentences do I have? I have three sentences in my story. Beginning, middle, and end. And then I also needed to capitalize the names of Georgina, the gingerbread girl, and Max, the gingerbread boy. Georgina and Max, because those are their names. Just like we capitalize your name, we have to capitalize our characters' names. And then I drew some pictures to go with my story. So now what you're going to do is you're going to use your characters and you are going to tell us a story, beginning, middle, and end. I cannot wait to hear your story. In the next assignment, you are going to decorate your own paper gingerbread house. Okay?